Right, when we were revising, or when we were talking about relative motion, we said there were three different categories. There was the body and carrier, there was the two independent bodies, and that's also shortest distance. The third category, which we still have to look at, is wind appears. And a quick introduction before we do a question, we have the whole thing done in 10 minutes. It's not as common as the other two categories, but it's nice and easy. Right? What happens is you have got an observer, and you'll be given a velocity of an observer. Right? So you'll be told the velocity observer is so many in the i and so many in the g. You'll then be told to that observer the wind appears to have a certain velocity. So you'll be told the velocity of, how do I write that down? To the observer the wind seems to have a certain velocity. So we all, the velocity of the wind relative to the observer. And generally what you'll be asked to find is the velocity of the wind. Now we know that as an aside over here, VWO is an aside is equal to, if I want to split it up, VW minus VO, and what I'm looking for is VW, so VW on its own is going to be? VW plus VO. Plus VO. And that little bit there is the little bit that we're going to use. And this will all become clear in a minute. So when we get VW, we'll be looking for VW, and in order to find it, we just say, well, it's those two added together. Okay? Now, we won't have enough information in one line, in one equation. They will give us two situations. So we're going to have the same thing with the second situation. We'll have a VO, a VWO, and then we can get VW in terms of these two. I'll just write it up again. We'll have a VO and a VWO. They won't be the same, but all that happened is that the person changed direction and maybe changed speed. So if they change direction of speed, they have a different velocity. Because they have changed direction and speed, the wind now appears to be doing something else. But actually, the velocity of the wind is what? Same. Is the same. So what we can do is we can put the two of these together, put the two of these together, and then we can say, hang on, both of these represent the velocity of the wind, so we can just equate them to each other. And that's all there is to it, and then we solve. Right? So it is, in principle, fairly straightforward. It's a nice, easy question. Uh, and we won't be using diagrams. You don't, the only time we use a diagram is to try and figure out what direction they're traveling in. But it's not a diagram approach. There's no trigonometry involved. It is going to be completely vectors. So one of the things I have over here, uh, Jamie, you've got that. There's the question we're going to be looking at, which is 2003. But to go back to the uh, instructions that I've given you. Yeah. Okay, so there's a revision sheet. I said you could break it up into three different categories for revision purposes body and carrier we've looked at. The wind appears to blow, this is what we're looking at now. So here we use vector analysis. An observer walks in one direction at a given speed, notices the wind seems to have a certain velocity. He then changes velocity or direction and speed, and as a result, notice that the wind seems, appears to have a different velocity. The question is, what is the actual velocity of the wind? To answer this, we make use of the fact that the true velocity of the wind was the same in both scenarios, so we get an equation for this in terms of the velocity VO and the velocity VWO and let one equal the other. Okay, so VW equals VWO plus VO. We do that in both cases, then we make it to each other. Now, there are a couple of things you've got to know here. Remember I said it's a nice, easy question. They like to make things tricky. Nothing is easy in this world. If it says the wind blows towards the east, and I'm going to try to use I's and J's and X, let X represent what I don't know. How would you write that down? If it's blowing towards the east. X in the other direction. Then the velocity of the wind, VW equals XI. If it's coming from the east, what do you write down? It's, minus 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 it's going towards the west, therefore it's minus x i. So if it's coming from something, straight away alarm bell goes off and you've got to say it's going towards, coming from the east, going towards the west. If it's coming from the southeast, it means it's heading in what direction? Um, if it's coming from the southeast, it's going? Northwest. Northwest. Oh, oh yes, got it Coming. Yeah, and, and here's where I said you the only time you'd have to draw a graph or draw a diagram is to try and get together your head. Coming from the east, coming from where did I say? Southeast. Southeast is Wicklow territory. I've got to get a map of Ireland. Therefore, it's going northwest. If you're told it's northeast, southwest, or whatever else, what do I know about the angle? Therefore, what do I know about my G and my I component? They're going to be equal. So this component is going to be this component if it's 45 degrees. Okay, so we've got to bear that in mind. So therefore, I might say the velocity of, if the wind we're talking about here, if it was, what's it going to be in the I direction? Minus 
minus x in the i direction, and what would it be in the j direction? Plus x in the j direction. So if it's giving you that information, and usually it's been giving you that about the wind up here, so it'd be the velocity of the wind relative to the observer, you'd stick that information then up there for the velocity of the wind relative to the observer. Okay? Uh, the wind blows from the direction 2i plus 3j, we'll worry about that later on, it's a little bit trickier. And if you're told the wind appears to be, then this becomes v w o, not v o w. So it's the velocity of the wind relative to the observer. Okay, just make sure you don't write it the way around. Right, this last one here came up 1991. It was quite tricky, but we won't worry about that now. We're looking at straightforward questions. So I don't want that. I want the exam question we had. So all we're going to do, it's nice and short. It's two lines, three lines, and we're going to apply this methodology to this question. <coughs> 